What's up everyone? Jeff Gatz here with another lesson for you. Welcome to my groove series where I'll introduce you to my favorite grooves of all time and then show you how to play them. These grooves may be iconic, they may be grooves that are especially difficult, or they may simply be grooves that I find to be, well, especially groovy. No matter what, they're grooves that I love and I've spent a lot of time listening to, so hopefully you will enjoy them too. What I want to discuss today is what I call slow motion and fast forward grooves. These concepts are inspired by something I've heard Marco Miniman play numerous times in his videos and live performances. So if you're a fan of Marco, you may recognize these ideas. Now there are many amazing things I could discuss from his performances, but one of my favorite things that Marco does is when out of seemingly nowhere, he jumps from a groove or a solo into a new beat that sounds twice or even three times as fast as what he was previously playing. Then, all while staying completely in time, he cuts the tempo back and resumes his original beat that he was playing before. Now the first time that I heard this, I was totally confused about what he was doing, but I loved the way it sounded. It was like someone had literally bumped into his metronome setting, like on his click track, and he, all the while, unwaveringly followed along until it was corrected. The concept has stuck with me over time, and I'd like to explain my take on it in this video. As I mentioned, the first concept we're going to discuss today is what I call a fast-forward groove. Here's an example. Okay, so now that you've heard what this groove sounds like, let's break it down and look at what's really going on. The majority of what I just played was straight 4-4 four, four time. I won't go into that in detail, but if you want to learn more about 4-4, four, four, you can check out my video on it up here. So to play the fast forward portion, we need to work on counting 4-4 four, four with a subdivision of 8th note triplets. To count 8th note triplets in 4-4, four, four, we can say 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet. There are four quarter note counts in a measure, hence the one, two, three, four, and there are three eighth note triplets per each one of those four counts. Next, we need to work on superimposing our original groove onto these eighth note triplets. This groove is based on standard eighth notes, and it looks like this. Now if we take this groove and overlay it onto the eighth note triplets, it looks like this. It's definitely a little weird to play a groove that's based on an even subdivision as triplets, so just remember to take it slow until you get used to it. Here's what it sounds like again, slowed down. As you may have noticed, when we overlay the original groove over top of the eighth note triplets, we don't actually fill up the same amount of time. That is, the original groove fills the full 4-4 four, four measure, but the fast forward groove only fills up part of that 4-4 four, four measure. The reason for this is that when we use eighth notes as a subdivision, the total number of eighth notes in a single measure adds up to eight. There are four quarter notes in the 4-4 four, four measure, and there are two eighth notes per quarter note. Four times two is eight. In contrast, when we use eighth note triplets as our subdivision, the total number of eighth note triplets in our measure is 12. That's because there are four quarter notes in the measure, and there are three eighth note triplets per quarter note. So, four times three is equal to 12. This isn't necessarily a problem, Instead, really simply means that we have to make a choice about what to do when we run out of groove, so to speak. So, for example, we can stop abruptly at the end of the eighth note triplets and resume our, our original groove there, or as I tend to prefer, 
we can continue to play the fast forward groove until there's a more natural stopping point, such as on the one of the next measure. Check out these examples to see what I mean. Once you get the hang of it, you can extend the fast forward groove for as long as you want, or you can start it to stop it as you wish. The second similar concept is what I like to call a slow motion groove. Here's an example of that. Okay, so let's break this down and see what's going on. As with our fast forward groove, we again need to work on counting 4-4 with a triplet subdivision. However, in this case, instead of counting eighth note triplets, we're slowing our original groove down, so we will count quarter note triplets. To count quarter note triplets in 4-4, we can continue to use the same terminology of one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, which applies to eighth note triplets but we need to also realize that quarter note triplets account for double the amount of time that an eighth note triplet does. So let's think about it another way. There are four quarter notes per measure in 4-4 four, four time. As with eighth note triplets, where three of them fill the same amount of time as two eighth notes, three quarter note triplets fill the same amount of time as two quarter notes. For that reason, there are six total quarter note triplets per measure of 4-4. Four, four. Next, again, we need to work on superimposing our original groove onto these quarter note triplets. Ultimately, it looks like this. As with the fast forward groove, when we overlay the original groove over top of the quarter note triplets, we don't fill up the same amount of time. We're left with an extra space in our second measure of 4-4. Four, four. So it's up to us, really, to figure out what we want to do with that space. We can immediately resume our original groove, which is cool. Uh, we can continue the slow motion groove, or we can play something else like a fill, or whatever we feel like. Here's an example of what I mean.
Last, you can combine these grooves however you want. Here's an example of how you can use them to create really weird but cool sounding grooves. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Keep in mind that we used eighth note triplets to create our slow motion and fast forward grooves in this video, but those aren't the only subdivisions you can use. I plan to dissect additional subdivisions in future videos, so please stay tuned for more grooves in the future. As always, if you have anything else you'd like to learn more about, please comment in the comments section on YouTube. Thanks for watching.